guys, welcome back to my channel. If you've seen my latest weekly vlog, then you know that recently I moved into a new flat with my sister here in London, and that of course meant that we had to have another trip to Ikea because any excuse for a trip to Ikea pretty much. Our flat only came with really basic furnishings, so we pretty much went to town in Ikea, and I've got some furniture to show you, as well as some kitchen and dinnerware type things, and a little bit of home decor. And I literally do not know where to start. I might as well start off with the furniture and get those big things out of the way, I suppose. So the first thing that I got is this desk. The cool thing about IKEA furniture, I think, is the way you can piece things together. So this has like a tabletop and two legs, but then the other side is held up with a set of Alex drawers. At the very last minute, I changed my mind and got a grey tabletop instead of a white one because all my furniture is white and I thought that it might be a little bit more interesting if I had a grey desk. The next pieces of furniture are white though. I got this set of drawers which match the wardrobe and the chest of drawers set that already came with my room. And I got this little bedside table as well because it's quite low and the beds that came with our flat are very low to the ground so that worked well. And for my desk chair, instead of going for a chair on wheels like I have had in the past, I went for this fancy looking dining table chair with a grey cushion on it. Our flat also didn't have a dining room table with it so we picked up this basic one and then made things a little bit more interesting by getting multicolored chairs, which was pretty fun. And the last big item is this full length mirror that I got to stand against my wall in my bedroom. We also picked up some mirrors to hang on the wall in the bathroom because strangely the bathrooms in this flat don't have any mirrors in them. Onto something more fun though, I picked up two different lamps. This one here is for my bedside table and it's purple because I'm sort of going for like a purple and grey theme in my bedroom, I think you can see on the bed behind me. Then I got, whoa! <laughs> and I got this one here to go on my desk as a work lamp for when I'm doing lettering or just working at night time and it's not good to like strain your eyes in low light. This one's really sturdy, it's quite nice for the for the price of it, it was fairly cheap considering what it was, like it's all made of metal. Yeah, seems like really good quality. I grabbed some Ikea hangers because they're really cheap. They're not the best hangers, I think they're slightly weird how thick they are, but yeah, they do the job. For some other storage, I picked up Another mason jar, I had one of these before from Ikea and I got another one to put like my skincare in just to keep it off the dresser so that it can be put away all nice and tidy. And I also got this little jar here with a lid that just pops off like that to put my hair ties and clips in so that they don't get lost all over the place as well. You'll be able to see one of these behind me on the bed. But I also got two new pillows with purple pillowcases just because I always go for white or grey bedding and I wanted something but more interesting and to bring more colour into my bedroom. I picked up this grey storage box thing to go on some shelves that I have in my bathroom to keep like my curler and my hairdryer in. And the last thing for my bedroom is this notice board and it comes with a set of pins which is cool. I'm going to use this to sit on my dresser and hang necklaces on it from the pins just because I don't want to put hooks in the walls and I haven't been able to find like a jewellery holder that I really like. Let's move on to kitchen things now because I've got a lot of them. This is the cutlery set we chose. It's quite good value for money. It comes with six of each thing and they're all really nicely designed, so I guess, I don't know, like any Ikea thing, right? I'm going to be careful showing this next one. We got a set of sharp knives. I think they're only five pounds for three of them. One's in the dishwasher right now. And they are really sharp and seem to be really good quality, so again, awesome value. Some cooking utensils, and these were only like 40p each. I feel like I'm quite picky about glasses and mugs because I hate when they're too small and you sort of like drink the liquid in them in one gulp. I think it's just pointless. So, these are the glasses we got. They're nice and big, so they can fit a lot of juice or water or whatever. And these are the awesome mugs that we got two of. I'm drinking my tea from it now, so I should be careful. These mugs are from the IKEA 365 collection, and yeah, they're an awesome size. Perfect for drinking lots of tea. And we also got this set of wine glasses. We spent quite a while in the pots and pans section trying to pick the ones that were the best value in there. I sort of feel like pots and pans are the things when you're setting up a kitchen that you should invest a little bit more money in just to get something that's going to be better quality. And saying that though, the one we ended up with was an awesome deal. This is it here. It's like a wok style frying pan, so nice high sides for doing lots of stir fries and pasta dishes in. Like with the cutlery, we wanted a dinnerware set that was really good value. This is one we ended up with. It's just white and the bowls and plates are all nice and big and nicely designed, so I don't know, can't go wrong really. Whenever Sammy and I cook dinner, we like to make extra to take to work for lunch the next day, so we picked up some Tupperware to put that in. We got this set of plastic ones that are good for freezing if there's meals you're not going to eat the next day. And this is going to be a really nerdy thing to say, my workmates have really laughed at me for it. My favourite Tupperware, because I have a favourite Tupperware, is these glass ones, because you can take the lid off and heat them up in the microwave in this glass container here at work, and you just eat it straight from here, and it's like a wee bowl that you bring with you. I feel a bit funny about heating things up in plastic, I don't know. Maybe it's like one of those old wives tales or just like a scare tactic thing that's not actually true, but I think it's just better to have it in the glass, so 
these are worth it. And that is all the IKEA stuff that I have to show you. But because I don't want to end the haul by talking about glass Tupperware, I also wanted to show you this copper letter C that I got from Oliver Bonus the day after we went to IKEA. I think it's really cool and it's just sitting on my desk having a fun time. I hope you enjoyed this haul. I know these videos are more normally filled with decor stuff rather than boring essentials that I've shown you like plates and glasses, but I don't know, I thought it could help out if you're maybe setting up a flat and wanting to know where the best deal is. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. I'm really looking forward to getting really into my decor and DIYs now that we're in our new flat, so you can look out for videos like that coming in the future. Thanks for watching and I will see you next week. Bye!